Hi ROS developers and welcome to this ROS Q&A video. If you want to learn anything about ROS, the Construct YouTube channel is your channel. You can learn about ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS with AI, ROS navigation, anything related to ROS, you can learn it here. So please check, it, check out some of the videos that we've been doing for the past, I don't know, months, years maybe, yeah. So please check it out. I'm Miguel Ángel Rodríguez and in this video we are going to answer this question here, which is double here. This user with the name of Anna Sarp and here Pransa Kumar is, an, is basically asking, is there any way I can detect collisions with static objects with the contact sensor? So fast yes you can do it and you uh, you are going to learn how to do it in this video i leave all the code in the description below as well as a rosject link that you have just to click and you'll have all the ros project copied we'll talk about that later so if i talk about any concept that you don't understand have a look at our Robot Ignite Academy. It's an online academy where you can learn ROS related topics with no installation required. And without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to close some pages. And yeah, if you go to uh, ROS DS, ROS Development Studio, you'll be greeted with something like this. Okay. So we're going to use this project here. As I told you, we are going to uh, leave the link of this uh, Rosject in the description below. You just have to click and this whole project will be copied to your um, Ros Development Studio uh, workspace. Super fast and easy and you'll have exactly the same code. Yeah, if you're more a Git type of person, We've created a Git also with the code there. You can download it and that's it. All the things that I'm explaining here are useful in ROS DS, but also, of course, in a local computer or a, a robot that has ROS installed, okay? Just to have that clear. Okay, so basically this user has a problem, which is that when he tries to uh, detect the collision with a static object, it doesn't work. Let's have a look. So if when you click the Rosject, you'll have this, exactly this, you just have to click open Rosject and you'll be greeted with something like this without the simulation. Okay, so let's launch the simulation to launch it. Just start world launch and this will launch the world spawn the static object and also spawn this um, dummy robot that serves the purpose of contact simulation okay let's explain this a bit so basically what happens is that these two spheres just fall and hit on this um, object which is the static object yeah let's have a look at, at the code and what I will do is actually I'll will relaunch the simulation but this time with the time paused. That way you'll see exactly what this does. Let's wait for a few minutes. There we go. Okay. So 
basically we start with this these two arms uh, are slightly slanted to the to the right that way when you hit play they fall and they touch whoops wait and they touch this static object okay the user here um, actually gives the code for the static object basically what I've done is copy this entire um, code and remove these um, meshes basically because the user doesn't give them doesn't give those meshes so I couldn't do the test with the meshes but basically is the same thing okay I've just replaced um, I've, I've just replaced the the meshes with a box we'll see in a minute so if we go to models and we go here is basically the same thing so the properties of the surface are exactly the same but the geometry is just a box with some dimensions yeah easy there but this is very important but it's a static object is a static object yeah so this simulation what's what's the result of this well if we open to shells we go to the simulation and the source just in case okay and ross topic list Basically, what we have is two topics that publish the, the contact of the left and the right arm. Yeah. So let's go here. You don't have to go here, actually. Ross topic echo. And we are going to put the left to the left and the right to the right. There we go so it's having contact there and here the same thing ross topic echo and there we go so this is the data published by the contact sensors plugin and if we stop it we see that both are hitting this cyrus can geometry which is basically the object that we have here yeah and we have them for the right and for the left sorry for the left and for the right is the same thing it's contact it's collision with the same thing yeah just that this is the right upper arm is coll colliding with this and this is the left arm colliding with this so it works so is it possible yeah is it possible it's totally possible the only problem basically is how to make the contact sensors work because it's quite tricky basically because it it has a bug in the chakra or urdf to sdf conversions it has a, a bug let me show you if you go here and you you hit the IDE basically you'll have something like this so if if we go to the simulation that I created for this purpose I created a chakra which is quite the the normal way of doing robots that are complex enough but with URDF happens the same thing so here we have two files that I generated during the tests so I'll remove them because we don't need them um, and basically you have to understand that when you you spawn a robot so if we spawn this robot which is contact robot chakra which is this file here and in the case of urdf is the same thing what we do actually is when we call this spawn urdf model what it does uh, here here what we do is load the robot description of this chakra and this chakra is converted to URDF and from URDF to SDF 
what happens, or basically chakra to FDF. So what happens is that in that conversion, names change and the collisions, uh, the collision objects are given a name. That name is unknown and I'll show you why. So I think it's better that we generate the files first, that way you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So if we go here and we go to, uh, there we go, contact, contact, then here, we execute this script that I generated just for this, which what it does is, if you go here, it basically transforms the chakra to URDF and the URDF to SDF. Yeah, which is what the, the system does when you spawn. And what we have is it generates this URDF and SDF. So the problem is in the SDF and I'm going to show you why. Let me, for example, have a look at this um, Chakra robot. Yeah, so here. Here what we do is we load a bunch of Chakra elements Again, if you don't understand this, I highly recommend you that you see the videos about URDF creation and so on. Uh, we've done a few of them. And also, have a look at the uh, Robot Ignite course on URDFs. It will help you a lot. But basically, what we have to look at is for the arms. So, in the arms, we have defined uh, some joints, an important one, some links, sorry. And the important one is this arm fist, okay? The arm fist is this, is the sphere, the blue spheres, okay? One for each arm. So you can see here that if you go to the collision, to the collision, the name of the element, the collision element is left or right, bump sensor collision, and it should be that name but it isn't. In the SDF, it's not that name. And you'll... Let's have a look. So, for example, let's have a look. Uh, let's look for fist. Yep. Okay. Okay, we have the visuals. Okay, so what's the problem with this? So the main problem with this is that if we look for this, which is the collision. Okay, here it is. I didn't find it. So this is the name given to the collision element of the fist. The problem is that it doesn't make any sense because I, I stated that the name is one, but this one is totally different. Who does this? Well, it's a conversion to U URDF to SDF. And basically what it does is that our plugin, our the plugin that we use for contact, which is this one, it doesn't work. Because you have to state here in the collision the exact name of that element. Which I would think it would be this one, which is left bump sensor collision. But you see, it's not the same. And that's because when you do the transformation, it changes the name. So it's really important that when you do this, you do this conversion and see exactly which name is given. So in this case, this is given. And if this name is the same as the one in here, then it works. And then it detects collision. Otherwise, it won't work. I know it's something very strange, but that's the way it is. 
So that way you'll have collisions with elements and static. And that's quite it, my friends. So if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this Q&A. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And yeah, so see you in the next video. Hasta la próxima. Thank you.